Hey guys, thank you so much for choosing to click on this video. Uh, once again, just want to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon set up. Check it out. I've already got one Patreon subscriber on that, and I would love to have a whole team of you guys helping me out and a community that we can grow and build. Also, check out my uh, TCG player friend, his store, JR Cards. Uh, just check that out, see what you like, and help him out. His link is down in the description below. All right, really hope you enjoyed the video. It's a good one. What's up, guys? All right, I'm sorry if the audio is gonna be a little off for this. I'm not really using my microphone because it gets in the way of uh, this box opening since the microphone's usually right about here. You're gonna see it, you know, with my hands. But so, what I got yesterday was finally a box of Lightning Overdrive, and I'm gonna do an opening for you guys, and the store owner of Game Den Provo was like, oh, you're doing a box opening video? Here's four OTS 16 packs then for you to open those too. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, there's really nothing in this set mainly that I'm looking for, except the uh, the new Link 2 for Tri Brigade, because uh, I really want to see how that works with, uh, you know, my X Sabres. Uh, there's also a new Ice Barrier card, which is going in the Hidden Arsenal collection that I have, along with a new Laval Synchro, which is going into that same collection. Um, so yeah, let me just cut this box open and we'll hop right into it. Okay. Okay, so these, put that very sharp knife out of the way. Okay, so, also what's pretty weird is, well not weird, but this summer, I am a, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Odo Shidamashi? <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> Amaze Attraction, just a guy, uh, Force Dog Tag, War Rock, War Rock Big Blow, and, sh okay, this is that, um, that, that, the really cool one that people are looking for, <laughs> that draw card. There we go. Put the condoms right here. So this summer I am helping out with a uh, creative problem solving conference. Um, it's out of the uh, Creative Education Foundation. They call this conference Sipsy, so that's why I'm wearing this shirt. Because right after I'm done filming this video, I will be uh, hopping back onto Zoom to help out with their virtual conference. Okay, ooh, all right. That's kind of... I don't know if that's a chase card, but I know that some people are looking for that because of the Utopia. Uh, Starmine. Pyro. 200 defense. Okay. Pain 96 is in the building. So I haven't done a ton of research on this set. I do know that the Amazement Archetype is a... Uh, Archetype. The Amazement Archetype is in this set now. And... Uh, there's a guy at my locals. Okay, first uh, he he runs it. Black eyes. You and I. Okay, so this is the Amaze Attraction Cyclo Coaster. Um, target an amazement control. Target monster you control. When face a monster your opponent controls. Equip it. Okay. Hmm. Nice. All right. And I guess for secrets, I'm kind of interested in that new Book of Moon card. Um, that's about it, really. All right, proof of proofless. I won. From what I've understood is that this is a pretty short printed super. Um, of all the boxes that people at my locals have opened, I think only one of these have been opened by someone, so they are. A lot of people are looking for them. Um, don't really know what it does. Control no special summon monster. You can special summon this card in your hand. So you can special summon other monsters the rest of the turn. This card is normal special summon immediately after this effect rolls. Tributes. Oh, so it's a monarch support. Okay. Another Addict Nister. Automatica. 
Hugh Yamamori, Rock's Rose Dragon, Hidden Springs of the Far East, Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. Okay. First pile, S Force, you know, Mori, Sky Search Nuns, X Alliance, <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Here's a sleeve! Holy poop! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I never have luck with these. So <laughs> all right, we're gonna open up the first OTS pack here. Um. So let's see what we got. So Petten the Dark Clown. Stardust Wish and Token Stampede. Okay. Also, with uh, the OTS packs, um, <laughs> the only ultimate rares that people have opened have been the Cyber Dragons. <laughs> so we've got a few ultimate rare Cyber Dragons floating around my locals, um, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, Spriggan's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, Scrap Raptor. Okay. Uh, Sunbow on Daphne, and Amazement Family Faces, Binary Blader, Sunbind Crossbreed, Bujin Mahitotsu, and Amazement Ambassador Bufo. Okay, I'm gonna put the Scrap Raptor over there. Just because that is a common that people are interested in. Dark Eye Nightmare, War Rock Generations, Boots Incandescence, Maze Attraction, Majestic Merryground, Expendable Die, Wonder Wheel, Carbon, Basil Rose, Spriggan's, Spriggan's Booty. Spriggan's is a deck that, for some reason, I'm interested in, and I don't really understand why. Um, <laughs> I would like to know why, but I'm just drawn towards wanting to buy it and play oh hey live twin kiss frost there we go there's my ice barrier okay i don't know how much i don't really know what the live twin deck is doing there were eldritch variants that were running around when the deck first came out but they haven't been really doing much since then so okay Yamamori, this card's just adorable just another branded another scrap raptor and branded in white Okay. Oh, it's the new Albaz card. All right. Um, branded in what? Fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a dragon monster. Dragonity. You can also banish monsters from your graveyard as material if you use Fallen of Albaz as fusion material from your hand, field, or banishing itself from your grave. Oh, all right. During the end phase of this card is in the grave because it was sent there to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz this turn, you can set this card. You can... Okay, so it's... It's not as good as Invocation, but it's very similar to the concept of Invocation. Um, like, specifically for the Albaz cards. Alright, alright. I'll allow it. I'll, I'll, I'll let it go through this once. Uh, Dogmatic Calamity, ZW, I Challenge You, Paleozoic... Uh, hey, there we go, Lynn. Uh, one by one. Spriggan's booty. Spriggan's booty. Alright. Last pack of this side of the pile. Sunvalon Daphne. Denmari Adagnister. S Force Dog Tag. Starry Night Ciel. Garden Rose Flora. Okay. Amazement Ambassador Bufo. Clock Arc. Another Judge of the Ice Barrier. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Second OTS pack.
Cosmic Flare, Power Filter. <laughs> making up for the phantom rage box opening where I only pulled one secret in the entire box. Okay, um... <laughs> Alright, let's hop back into this. <laughs> okay. Alright, Zexel Lions, Dark Eye Nightmare, Warrock Generations, Booj Incandescence, ZW Dragonic, Hallbreed, alright. Uh, World Soul Carbon, Basil Rocha. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I am feeling good. <laughs> Construction, construction and trust. <sighs> All right, just a crowned. <laughs> Otter is so cute. Okay, what exactly does it do though? Because I see that it's a level one Earth Tuner beast. Um, not a tuner, your opponent's monster cannot carry this card. If a monster is sent on the field to your opponent's grave, okay. Um, place a counter and special summon a token up to the number of counters on this card. Each token's level is increased when summoned by the number. When summoned by the number. Oh! Okay. So every time your opponent summons a monster, this gains a token and you special. This gains a counter and you special summon a token, and then its level is based on how many counters are on here. So when your opponent special summons another monster, you oh wait no it can only be used the effect of oh okay so it's like eh, it's not fantastic. It's a level one Earth Beast tuner that is very searchable now, which means that honestly. Obedient school is Naturia Beast now. Very, very easily accessible Naturia Beast. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Obedient School already was a one turn Naturia Beast, but it, you know what I'm saying. Like, you're going to be able to get out Melfi's and all that jazz, and it's going to be great, and this card is just a common now. Um, and it's pretty easy to get a hold of. Elephant is so hard to find that I don't understand why. Um, uh, but it's so cute. <laughs> okay, expendable die. All right, so that's a double now. Oh, there we go. That's another one of those. Okay, so far this is going very well. Um, I only have one secret. But I'm okay with it because it is the money secret in the set. Uh, another Scrap Raptor. So there we go. That's a play set. <gasps> yes! Yes! <sighs> and the third ju- Okay, that was my favorite pack so far. I had my third Ice Barrier. Okay, I know that that sounds weird because I'm super excited about, you know, the Diviner and the Alti Firewall Dragon. But, you know, Ice Barriers, I'm- I'm doing Stubble Dragoonities right now, but I've got Ice Barriers going on in the background that I'm working with quite a bit. Um, so there's that. And I have the link for Tri Brigade, which makes Tri Brigade pretty broken right now. Um, there we go for that. Weird that I haven't gotten the Laval monster yet. Um, cause it's just a super rare. One Curry Way, Dark Eye Nightmare, Tears of the Underfoot, Spriggan's Brothers, and Dark Honest! Okay, that's a good one, too. That's a really good one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. 
Okay. All right. I'm gonna get. Okay. I'm gonna get a sleep for that. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go into the third OTS pack. Dig, Royal Magical Library, and Generator Transversor. Okay. Now let's finish up Lightning Overdrive. Alright, Dark Eye Nightmare, Ujin Candescent, Zexal Alliance, I Meet You. Oh, okay, the big, uh, like, Jormungandr of, uh, it's Spriggan's. It, see, it's the artwork on this card that makes me want to build Spriggans. I freaking love how <laughs> it's got that Leviathan look, but it's basically just saying like, hey, the Spriggans archetype, it's the entire series of Dune. Um, here's the giant worm. And I, I just I like it a lot. I want to build the deck, but I have no idea what it does. And it's not Hidden Arsenal, but... It takes place in its own, you know, story of the whole Dogmatica and Tribrigade stuff. So, like, maybe I'll be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll do World Legacy uh, after the whole Dual Terminal. And then and then I'll do this new series, you know, with the Dogmatica and the Tribrigade and the Spriggans. And, you know, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Um, it's just going to be a long thing. There we go. Okay. I like seeing... I like seeing my Hidden Arsenal decks get their Legacy support. Um, Hidden Springs of the Far East. Oh, okay. Run a Guardian Sphinx, CS Arm Sage. Okay, looks like we have three packs left. Still don't have a Starlight, um, so we'll see what happens with that. Oh, if I pull a Starlight, I'll, I don't know what's going to happen. Scrap Raptor. There we go, more Rock Generations. Game. White Knight of Dogmatica, okay. Branded So what does this ritual do? If Dogmatic Calamity, you can't special summon monsters from the extra deck. Okay, yeah. If your opponent activates a card or effect, except during the damage step, send a monster from your extra deck to the grave, and if you do, look at your opponent's extra deck and send one monster from it to the grave. Whoa! Find a tag of those monsters sent to the grave until the end of the... Wow. Okay. That's... <laughs> so I know almost nothing, really, of Dogmatica, but from what I do know of it, that is... It's a very nice card. That is a good card. Okay, I think... I think I've got one Ultra left, because I think I've got three Ultras in there so far. Um, as far as Dog Tag... A cute reptile. Dark infant attic mister. Okay. And I can swing to the east. Right, this is the first one of those that I pulled. Alright. Amazement special show. Scrap Raptor. War Rock Generations. Boo Boo Game. Okay. See, I really like this new generic. Uh, rank four. Um, yeah, nothing more. So what it is, is depending on the difference in cards in yours and your opponent's extra deck, this card gains effects. So I feel like this would be a very good uh, going second card to have in your extra deck when facing very heavy combo decks like Dragon Link that are just churning through their extra deck um, due to just how many cards that they go through. With this guy, he gains Effects based on if you have one more, five more, ten more, and fifteen more cards in your extra deck. I was looking at it last night, and I, this is this is something that I'm gonna put in like my extra deck binder that I've got going on, um, just because I feel like this could get better with time. Um, 
Although, to be fair, like, three years ago was probably going to be, like, fantastic. But I, I feel like this card has potential. It might not be fantastic, but it definitely has potential if we jump back into a very, very combo-heavy format where the, uh, the deck burns through the extra deck, like Dragon Link. Okay, we'll do this OTS pack and then open that last pack of Lightning Overdrive. On a Super Nerval, Reptilian Hydra, which was a very well needed line, Alligator, and Nerval! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Alright. One, two, three. Starmine, Ujin Mahitotsu. Sunpine, Dark Eye Nightmare, Bujin Candescent, Sexual Alliance, I Meet You, and Amazement Family Faces. I don't know, Judge. All right. Awesome. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that.